Good morning troopers, it's 7am and we're back out here again because the voltage has just dropped again and after 48 volts it just drops like a hammer. Literally we've only taken about an extra 10 amp hours or 15 amp hours and that's the difference between 44.75 volts and 48 volts. So that's a pretty rapid decline. So I'm pretty happy though, I mean that's 320 amp hours out of the bank that's about uh, 17 amp hours or so considering the batteries aren't topped all the way off they're not at 4.2 volts I'm only running them up to about four just over four volts so fantastic result I'm still calling this a 20 kilowatt hour power wall so what are we doing here I'm charging at 1.6 amps we're still running off the batteries and I just want to run a, a voltage test on all of these. I'm not going to record it. But if, in hindsight, I mean, if you're ever going to, if you're ever going to run these tests on these packs, and if anybody else is out there is doing it, I strongly recommend doing this. Just hit the batteries as hard as you can because you're going to find the weakest link. And that's what I need to do. I need to find the weakest link, replace the weak packs, and and um, and make this better and more reliable. So. Let's do this. I've done all the voltages, uh, and I'm going to make some changes after I've just done these voltages again. So we're still at 44.16 volts. Um, this battery is just under two volts. This battery is just under two volts. And this battery is just under two volts. I don't think it's got anything to do with having bad cell, like individual cells in each pack. It's got to just be the depth of discharge. So I am never going to take them this low again because I think I'm damaging my bank. Um, that said, it's a beautiful day today. So we're going to get back up to full charge again today. And we've had, what, uh, three, four we had three full days of rain so we run the ha we run the whole house off the batteries for three full days which i'm bloody stoked about so i'm just i'm not going to play with this pack i'm going to charge them all the way back up to 4.1 and see whether see see if they all come right again um i've marked all the packs that i uh, that are that are really low and we'll just proceed with these tests and treat them for what they are and we're learning something hey guys so summing that up I don't think I've got a problem with my pack. It was just my own fault for changing those settings to 40, uh, 44 volts. Um, under 48 volts, it just it just fell. I just watch it free fall. And sort of in the time that I walked to the shed, unlocked the shed, grabbed me keys for the other shed, walked down, unlocked it, it dropped by another volt. So it was dropping rapidly. No damage done. I don't think it would have hurt those cells too much because the second I... Um, by the time I actually turned the inverter off, picked up my multimeter, and like a minute or two later, I went to do the voltage again so I could take a photo for this test, uh, for this video, it had already bounced back up over three volts. So I'll leave it at that, YouTube. I hope we all learned something. I certainly did. Don't kick the ass out of your batteries. They're secondhand used batteries. Treat them nice. They're babies. And I'll see you on the next one. Ah, the next video. Ah, I just stabbed myself. Next video, I'm going to pull this one apart and we're going to get the bad... The bad cell. That one there is bad. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to do some cool tests with it to see if it actually had anything to do with dragging this pack down. This cell here was at zero volts uh, with the fuse intact. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.